Washington County prosecutors expect to review the Michigan State Police report on the shooting death of Patrick Leoya. Leoya was shot and killed by a Grand Rapids police officer on April 4th. The two struggled several minutes before Officer Christopher Schur opened fire while on top of him, shooting him in the back of the head. MSP submitted the report Thursday, but a couple of forensic reports are still needed, and there will not be a decision on possible charges until everything is submitted. New information in a deadly crash on 8 Mile on the Southfield Service Drive Thursday morning. Three people who police say are responsible for this wreck. It killed an innocent driver, have been taken into custody. Investigators say that the suspects were speeding in a Jeep Grand Cherokee and failed to stop when police tried to pull them over. Officers called off the chase, but the driver kept speeding and then crashed into a Ford SUV. The driver of that vehicle, a 32-year-old woman, was killed. Investigators say one of the suspects had a gunshot wound. Police have launched an internal investigation per department policy. Well, two young girls are recovering this morning after a dog attack at a school in Detroit. Now, this new image from a video obtained by 7 Action News shows one of two dogs that chased students at Bates Academy. The kids were out for recess on Thursday afternoon on the city's west side when they say that the dogs came out of nowhere. Students scrambled to get away. At least one of the dogs chased them back into the building. Two girls suffered bites described as minor. At last check, the owner of the dogs had not been identified. A chilly morning and temperatures by the afternoon a little bit below average as well, but at least we'll see plenty of sunshine through most of the day today. Highs in the upper 50s today, low 60s is what we average. 60 tomorrow, increasing clouds and a chance for a shower or thunderstorm on Sunday.